When I get back to the village area, I find Sundari's cubs, but no Sundari. <laughs> She must be on a hunt. While they wait for her, the cubs take each other to the mat. Their playful sparring will help turn them into powerful predators as adults. They still need their mom. The fort has a new ruler. Sundari's sister, Krishna, is back in her childhood home for the first time in three years. Krishna is free of motherhood responsibilities and ready to start mating again. She could track down her old mate, but like her sister, she pursues Zalim. idea what lures tigresses to this guy. But there's no question Zalim is an extraordinary tiger. He played Mr. Mom to his cubs. If only he would do it again, this time for his newest litter. Sundari's three. One month has come and gone since the cubs last saw their mom. They wander the village area alone now. At six months old, they still desperately need Sundari for food and protection. Forest rangers step in so they don't starve to death and leave them right here in case Sindari returns. It's strange not seeing Sindari moving about the park. Normally, she's spotted somewhere at least once every few days. She may have succumbed to the wounds from her fight with Star. Or was she so weak that another animal got the best of her? Or did she just get too close? Sundari's cubs are doing well now. If they survive another 18 months, they'll have beaten the odds. Perhaps one of these cubs has Sundari's will of steel and is destined to rule Ranthambore.